This story was sent to me by Leonice Williamson, and it's coming out of the UK. And them now talking about this vaccine called AstraZeneca, or at least it's the company that it's coming from, and how they had to pretty much halt approval because of a major mistake with the vaccine. Listen, this is the stuff that I and several others have been talking about when it comes to this vaccine and why many of us do not trust it because of stuff like this. Now, the only good thing that they they came out and said is that they halted approval before they um or came out and said, I should say, that they had to halt approval because of a mistake because they could have easily kept that under wraps and not had um, and didn't say anything at all. And just approved it. Just to approve it. Now this is over in the. This is a UK based vaccine. Quote unquote. So they have, they having their issues over there too. Just like they are over here. Because you notice that they had to go under a lockdown as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. And by the way the story is coming from the New York Post. And it was posted on November 26, 2020. Maybe not such a quote unquote happy accident after all. AstraZeneca's virus vaccine is coming under intense scrutiny after its UK scientists made a major mistake during trials, one that could even halt it from getting approved, according to reports. The UK drug maker and his partner, Oxford University, admitted after reporting his vaccine tested up to 90% effective that the promising results came after a batch of volunteers were accidentally given half doses. The efficiency of the vaccine was significantly lower at 62% for those who received the correctly administered two full doses. So they basically under prescribed or under dosed uh, these individuals instead of giving them the amount that they were supposed to get. So it sounds to me like it's not anything really wrong with the vaccine itself. It's just that they did not give the amount they were supposed to, which could, which is still not a good thing. Because then if people still say that they feel some type of way after taking it, then people will start to question, is this something in the vaccine itself? So you really can't get the full effect of it if you don't, if you're not getting enough of it. You know how they put labels on, um, uh, medicine or like, cough syrup for instance they say if you are under this age like under the age of 12 only fill up to this line if you are over that fill the entire cup basically they they're the equivalent of only putting it up to a certain line or maybe not even reaching the line at all lead researcher Manet pangalos insisted it was serendipity but the error which was not reported in the initial findings has brought the vaccine under intense scrutiny from scientists and industry experts and that also hurt them because they didn't report it. They didn't report that they did not give these individuals the right amount or enough. But like I said, it's a good thing it came out now before they decided to really push it out there. The half dose group was just 2,741 volunteers and all were under 55 raising questions as to whether the relative youth of the participants created the positive results, not the size of the dose. It pains me to say this, but I think claims made for the Oxford AstraZeneca Woo Woo 19 vaccine are on very shaky ground. We should wait for a solid large trial, scientist Hilda Bastian tweeted after the tester's confessions. Chemist Derek Lowe said the revelations put the UK vaccine makers in a bit of a bind. They have solid data for a relatively weak vaccine and a weaker data for a relatively strong one. He warned of the low numbers accidentally given the half dosage. This is really not being handled well at all, and it's a good thing that this wasn't the first vaccine to read out, he added, referring to the earlier vaccine test for announcements from Pfizer and Moderna. Now, I've done videos about that Moderna and how they wanted black people to, you know, be the guinea pigs for that. But how many black people weren't really receptive to the vaccine as a whole? Historical context. The former head of research and development at one of those rivals, 
Pfizer questioned whether it was whether it would derail the AstraZeneca vaccine getting approved. Hard to believe that the U.S. Food and Drug Administration will issue emergency use for a vaccine whose optimal dose has only been given to 2,300 people. Dr. John Latmatina tweeted, more data for this dosing regimen will be needed. Natalie Dean, a biostatistician and an expert in vaccine trial design at University of Florida, gave the UK team a poor grade for uh, transparency and rigor. It is awfully confusing for experts and non-experts alike, she wrote. The error and confusion over results caused shares in the company to slump 6.2% as industry experts also lose confidence, according to Bloomberg News. Anytime you have confusion in trials, it's not a good thing because it effectively removes any kind of credibility you had. Keith Tan Patel, a fund manager at Eaton Tree Investment Management, told Bloomberg, I think there will be a lot more scrutiny of Astra's product due to the manufacturing issue. Jeffrey Porges and SVB Lyric analyst was another to predict that it could be enough to prevent the fda from approving the vaccine use i don't believe the fda will look positively at any trial with the dose or the age cohorts or any other variable were changed mid-trial inadvertently or deliberately poor just told bloomberg news i think that they have really damaged confidence in their whole development program he told the times other experts are also concerned at the suggestion that the low dose group raised the overall effectiveness to 70 percent We've taken two studies for which different doses were used and come up with a complete composite that doesn't represent either of those doses, said David Salisbury, an associate fellow of the Global Health Program at the Chatham House Think Tank. I think many people are having trouble with that. A spokesman for Astra told Bloomberg that the trials were conducted to the highest standards and more analysis is being done to refine the efficacy reading. Basically, what it also sounds like to me after reading that is that they're doing a rush job. Like they were rushing. They didn't take their time with this. Like they were just rushing to get a vaccine out. And that's I'm glad that this is coming out because now you're getting effectively some news or some coverage of what other nations are doing when it comes to their vaccine. And to look at it, it's no different than what they're doing here. It's almost like they're all reading from the same script. They're just using different vaccines to do it so here you have this vaccine that for all intents and purposes could have probably worked but they were rushing and they were not taking into consideration the dosage amount needed for each person who was doing the trial which like that one person said is going to make them lose credibility and like i said this thing could possibly well i doubt it works but let's just play devil advocate let's hypothetically say it does work it no, you're gonna you're not gonna convince anybody to take it because look at what happened with this. They said that this was a mistake, um, but they try to make it initially early on in this um in the reading. They try to make it seem like it was a small minor thing, but it's actually pretty major. And it's in something like this, you can't have those kind of costly mistakes. You can't. Because this is a worldwide pandemic that we are dealing with here. And they're out here trying to see who can create a vaccine first. That's basically it. I would not be surprised if a lot of these nations are trying to be in competition with each other to see who can come up with a viable vaccine before the other just to say that they did it. But this is going to be another thing where people are not going to trust the, these vaccines and they're not going to want to take it and like i said for all intents and purposes and playing devil's advocate this thing probably could have worked i know it doesn't but let's i'm just i'm just saying that it could have worked but now no one's going to trust it because of this quote-unquote mistake i wouldn't but y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments and i'll talk to you in the next one